Welcome to Electro Online. Since we're going to be working with the catenary, which means that we're going to need to know how to integrate this integral right here. And of course, we claim that this integral equals this. And we have already shown you that this is equal to this in the previous video. Now, the next step is to show that this is indeed equal to that. How can we do that? We're going to work backwards. We're going to start with the result take the derivative of that, and we should end up with what's in here. Let's find out if that's true. So here we have the ddx, the derivative, with respect to x, of the natural log of the quantity x plus the square root of x squared plus 1. And of course, the square root is that x squared plus 1 raised to the 1 half power. So taking the derivative of that, we get the following. This is equal to the derivative of the natural log of something is 1 over that quantity x plus the quantity x squared plus 1 to the 1 half power times the derivative of what's here, which is equal to, the derivative here would be 1 plus, the derivative of this would be 1 half times x squared plus 1 to the minus 1 half power, subtract 1 from the exponent, times the derivative of what's inside, which is 2x. And now right away we can see here that the 2's cancel out. And simplifying this, we end up with 1 over x plus the quantity x squared plus 1 to the 1 half power times, and we're left with a 1 plus, in the numerator we have an x, and in the denominator we have an x squared plus 1 to the positive 1 half power when we bring it down. So now we want to add these together right over common denominator. This is equal to 1 divided by x plus x squared plus 1 to the 1 half power times, and here we end up with an x squared plus 1 to the 1 half power plus x divided by the common denominator of x squared plus 1 to the 1 half power. Notice that if I divide the denominator into the numerator, I end up back with what I started with, so that is absolutely correct. Now I realize that what I have in the denominator here is exactly the same as what I have in the numerator there, which means that this will cancel out this, and we can say that this therefore is equal to 1 over the square root of x squared plus 1. And that is exactly, if you look at it, what we have here inside the integral symbol. So 1 over x squared plus 1 times the square root, or the square root of x squared plus 1, if we take the integral of that, of course we need a differential dx, then we get this, which we already know is equal to the inverse hyperbolic sine of x. Now we've shown that if we take the integral of this, we end up with that, because when we take the derivative of this, we end up with this. Now that we understand the mathematics of it, we're now ready to attack the catenary, and that's what we'll start to do in our next video. And that's how it's done.